Today we talk about a problem called Langley's Adventitious Angles. It's from 1922 by Edward Langley, and it's sometimes called the hardest easy geometry problem. It's about a triangle, we call it 80-80-20, because one angle is 20 degrees and the other two equal angles are 80 degrees. It starts by drawing the angle alpha from one corner and beta from the opposite corner on the base, and then we form an angle x by connecting the two ends. And the question is to find x for different values of alpha and beta. There are different versions of this problem. For example, alpha and beta could be 70 and 50, and we want to know how much is x, or they could be 70 and 60, or in another version, they are 60 and 50. You can solve it trigonometric, but we are not going to go to that. And what you end up with is that, for example, for the case of 70 and 50, x is 10 degrees. For the case of 70 and 60, x is 20. And for the case of 60 and 50, x is 30 degrees. But how do you solve this problem geometrically? There are many ways to solve this problem using geometric methods. Some of them are not really that hard. Some of them are really hard. But the thing is finding these solutions is not that easy. Here we are going to use a different method to solve this problem geometrically. We start by a circle and we divide this into 18 equal slices. Each slice is 20 degrees, so 18 times 20 is 360 is a full circle. Any central angle like this is equal to the arc that is in front of it. For example, this angle is 20 degrees. Any inscribed angle like this is half of the arc which is in front of it. For example, this angle is 10 degrees. And any angle like this, which we call it internal angle, is half of the summation of the two arcs in front of it. For example, this angle has three arcs on one side and two on the other side. So in total, it has five arcs each 20 degrees. So in total, it has 100 degree, which half of it is 50. So the angle is 50 degrees. Now, any one of these lines is an axis of symmetry. For example, this line is an axis of symmetry. So if you draw a line like this, there is a mirror to that, which is like this. Or the green line that you see here has a mirror image like this. Everything is symmetric about this line. Now let's add two more lines. Now let's look carefully at this triangle. It's in fact our 80-80-20 triangle because each one of the two angles on the base is 80 degrees. For example, this angle is facing eight arcs, each one of them 20 degrees. So it's half of the total, which is 80 degrees. Let's change the color of this line to blue and add another blue line like this. Now notice that the angle at the bottom here is 70 degrees and the angle on the other side is 60 degrees. And what you have here is in fact the angle X, which you are looking for, which you can clearly see it's 20 degrees because it's facing two arcs and half of that is 20 degrees. And that is the solution to your problem using this figure. Let's do this again and see if we can solve another case using this method. Again, every line is an axis of symmetry. This time we're gonna use this one. So these two lines are going to be a mirror of each other, or these two green lines. Now again we build the triangle like this. 
and again we change the color of this one to blue and add one more blue line here and now you can see we have the case of 7050 with x equal to 10 degrees so we solved two of the cases of the Langley's problem maybe you can try to see if you can solve the third case of 6050 angles I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.